It was with praise that President Barack Obama addressed Bostonians in a Thursday morning service at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. You've shown us, Boston, that in the face of evil, Americans will lift up what's good. In the face of cruelty, we will choose compassion. And it was with defiance that he addressed those responsible for Monday's marathon tragedy. If they sought to intimidate us, to terrorize us, well, it should be pretty clear by now that they picked the wrong city to do it. The president offered condolences to the families of the bombing victims, including 23-year-old BU grad student Lingzi Liu. Our prayers are with the Liu family of China, who sent their daughter Lingzi to BU so that she could experience all that this city has to offer. She was a 23-year-old student, far from home, and in the heartache of her family and friends on both sides of a great ocean, we're reminded of the humanity that we all share. Also in attendance, an emotional Governor Deval Patrick, who spoke of the fortitude of Bostonians. Massachusetts invented America. So we will recover and repair. We will grieve our losses and heal. We will rise and we will endure. Mayor Tom Menino, despite suffering from a broken leg himself, summoned all of his strength and urged the city to stand united. Nothing will take us down because we take care of one another. And so while the physical and emotional wounds from Monday's attack may still be fresh, they won't remain forever. I'm telling you, nothing can defeat the heart of the city. Nothing. We will all be with you as you learn to stand and walk and, yes, run again. Of that, I have no doubt, you will run again. Unity and community. Two sentiments repeated over and over at this morning's interfaith service at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. With the morning's events now wrapping up, the president leaves the city, reminding us all that Boston is our home. Reporting for BUTV, I'm Victoria Price.